Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Farmhouse Mama. So in today's video, I am going to be repainting this canvas here. I actually have two of them. So I'm going to be doing both of them today. Um, and before I begin, let me let you all guys know right now, I got this idea from Kimberly over at Diva Designing on the Dime. I saw her paint two um, canvas-like pictures and I thought that this idea would be great in my bedroom because although I'm in the process of finishing my living room um, and getting some things for my dining area, I want to do my bedroom as well. And so there's a lot of stuff that I need to get in there. So it'll be a while before you guys see that video. But um, she made these picture canvases and I thought that they were so pretty and I thought they would go great in my bedroom like I just said <laughs> and um, because my, my bedroom is more contemporary and not farmhouse like the rest of my house so that's the only thing my bedroom is completely different and I like the more traditional um, I guess that's kind of what you would call it that's what I would call it for now um, but I like the more traditional so um, let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. Um, I do believe in giving credit where credit is due. So thank you so much, Kimberly, for sharing this idea with us. And one of us is now trying it. So let's get started. So um, the first thing you're going to need is some glue. I'm sorry, <laughs> some paint. So I picked up this paint from the dollar from not the Dollar Tree from Walmart and they were 50 cents each and this is an English navy blue I also have an antique parchment and a caramel classic and then I also have some glitter that I already had on hand that I got from Walmart I think this was like two dollars and ninety seven cents and then I also have some Mod Podge that I picked up from the dollar store. And you're going to need some foam brushes. Oh, this one is new and it already got paint on it. Anyway, I got some foam brushes. So the first thing is I'm hoping that these colors, this paint that I do have, will be dark enough to cover up the paint that is already on here. I don't want to paint this white because then I don't want the darker colors like the blue to come off too light. So, but choose the colors of your choice. My bedroom colors are uh, beige, almost like this caramel classic, um, navy blue, and blush pink with, you know, hints of gold or whatever in there. But that's my room. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up my paint. I probably should have got this open already because I hate trying to open up this paint. It's, it might be easy for some, but it's hard to get this little plastic thing off of here. So let me go ahead and get all my paints open and then we'll get started. Okay, so the painting that I am going to be doing is going to be a little different from what uh, Kimberly did. I am going to be using different colors as well as instead of my canvas going, um, my canvas is actually going to be going the long way. So I'm going to paint mine that way and I'm also going to be using three colors whereas she used two or three colors but I know one of them in the middle was white. But I'm going to be doing mine slightly differently. So we're going to start out with the blue. And I'm just going to shake it up. Put some paint on this brush. And just start painting over it. And... Uh, Thank you. 
and I can already tell that this is going to need more than one coat. And that's okay because I think I got enough paint to go over it more than once. And if you haven't had a chance to check out Kimberly's video of her um, office that she's recently um, updated or made some changes to for the fall, go ahead and check that video out. It's amazing. You guys are going to love her office. Um, it makes me want one, but I'm going to have to wait until I can get my little she shed together. That's probably not going to be until next year sometime. So... If you're still around, you're still with me, <laughs> you can look forward to that video next year. Okay, so I think I'm almost done. I just have to kind of figure out how far down I want to go with this blue. I think that's good enough. And then we're going to go on with the next color. Of course, everybody know who that is. That's Sam. That's my miniature pincher. He always think we in danger, so... Alright guys, so I am going to finish painting this and once I have it painted and I'm actually going to go ahead and show you what one coat of this paint looks like and then I'm going to come back and show you what the two coats look like and then we're going to move forward from there, okay? So I'm just going halfway down to this painting here. To this color. I think this is coming out cute already. What you guys think? Okay, so this is what the first, I want to say this is two coats, looks like. I don't want to pull it up completely just yet until it's drying. And I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to let this dry because you guys know I don't have any patience for waiting for stuff like this to dry. And I keep painting over in it. And when I paint over it, I'm actually moving the paint underneath it out the way. So I'm gonna go find me something else to do, go sit myself down somewhere and let this dry completely. And then I'll come back and we'll finish. Okay guys, so this is about three or four coats of paint on here. And um, it's for dry for the most part. So what I'm going to do now is just go in with the Mod Podge. And I'm just going to be stippling because the colors are going to bleed into one another. And that's perfectly okay with me. Because the glitter is going to be there. But I'm just going to stipple this in and I'm going to be using my gold glitter. Now it took me a while to decide if I wanted to use the silver or white color glitter that I have or if I wanted to use the gold. And after going 
back and forth and looking in my room several times, I decided that I was going to go with the gold glitter. So here we go. Okay, and this, we're just going to do the other side. And she said to be generous with the Mod Podge. I think I might have been a little too generous, but I like the way this is turning out. And my glitter that I'm using is a lot finer than what she used, but that's okay too, because it's art. And with art, you can pretty much do whatever you want. It's all about what's in the eye of the creator, right? Right. I like this glitter because you think you're using a lot, but you get so much in here. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. And then we're going to find a place to shake this stuff off at. Alright, so when I come back, um, I already started on my second one, as you probably can see over here, but I need to add uh, at least two more, well, one more coat of paint to the blue and to the brown, and maybe touch up the white a little bit, and then once it's done, the next time you see this, it's going to be hanging from my bedroom wall. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Alright, see you then. Alright guys, so I'm standing in my bedroom where the pictures are hanging at now, right beside my television. I think they look absolutely perfect. I love the way these turned out. Thank you so much to Diva for inspiring me to try this. It was a really awesome idea. Um, I did not do the lighting of the colors like she did with the white because um, if you look at my pictures you can tell they already have a lot of texture to them so I thought that the texture that was behind the picture was a really good enhancement to this um, project so if you want you can always do some kind of zigzag or whatever on the back to make it look more textured and then let it dry and then go ahead and paint over it but if that's too much for you then you can go ahead and do it um, just the way I did, or if you have some old canvases and you don't know what to do with them, this is a great idea as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.